हेलो गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स इन दिस क्लास वी डिस्कस अबाउट स्पीड गवर्निंग सिस्टम व्हाट इज द पर्पस ऑफ स्पीड गवर्निंग सिस्टम इन आवर पावर सिस्टम सो टू अंडरस्टैंड दिस स्पीड गवर्निंग सिस्टम फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वी डिस्कस अबाउट लोड फ्रीक्वेंसी कंट्रोल लोड फ्रीक्वेंसी कंट्रोल
So with the help of the speed drawing system, we can control the steam input, the steam input of the turbine. In the speed drawing system, we control the steam input of the turbine because output of turbine is given to the generator and output of the generator depends on input of turbine. Similarly, we can write here in a simple line. There are two concepts. One is conversion of mechanical power, kinetic energy into mechanical energy, and then mechanical energy is converted into electrical energy. So now we discuss about load frequency control, a single area using speed of the system. Now we discuss about at the latent stage at the latent and latent turbine turbine output of turbine is given to the generator and output of generator is electrical energy which is given to the flow this is generator this is soft this is turbine this is turbine this is turbine and input of the turbine is steam that is kinetic energy kinetic energy so first line is kinetic energy of Turbine is converted into mechanical energy. First of all, kinetic energy of steam. Kinetic energy of steam is converted into is converted into mechanical energy. Converted into mechanical energy. By the turbine. Mechanical energy, mechanical energy is converted into, is converted into electrical energy. energy. By generator, by generator, and then, and this electrical energy, this electrical energy, this electrical energy is consumed by the First of all, kinetic energy of steam is converted to mechanical energy with the help of turbine, steam turbine. And then this mechanical energy is converted into electrical energy with the help of alternator. And this output of alternator, that is electrical energy, is consumed by the load. Now, there is a there is change in load. There is change in load. It means it may increase or decrease. If there is change in load, means change in load. When changing active or active power, basically we are discuss about active power here. Changing power means increasing demand or decreasing demand. So if demand increase means load increase, then Demand at the generator output increase. Output demand of the generator increase. And generator demands for the turbine for la 
large input. And this input is given with the help of this pressure. Now, simply we can see that how to change in output is a function of change in input. Means change in output can be at the state but change in steam input of the turbine. Okay, now in the speed governing system, we use speed governor. This is the speed governor mechanism. This is the speed governor mechanism sends to the speed of and change. Speed changer, we use here speed changer, but here function of governing system or speed governor is to sense the speed of the Generator of the turbine means it sends or it measures the change of the speed of turbine shaft. So according to the change of turbine shaft, uh, speed of turbine shaft, it commands to the speed changer, and the speed changer may lower or may higher mean. It can increase or it can decrease the speed input. Simply here, in this magazine, we use a servo motor and this is piston. We use, here we use a servo motor and it consists of a piston controlled to the piston in a chamber. Now, oil in this chamber, oil is feed. With the help of oil line gear pump, with the help of oil line gear pump, because change in piston, change in the position of piston depends on the oil pressure. Depends on the oil pressure. So now, if there is change in this piston, it may be upward or it may be Change of piston is done with the help of sun motor. It depends on oil pressure. Now, if change in position of piston control to the steam input to the turbine. Change in position of the piston controls steam input for the turbine. And steam input to the turbine is controlled with the help of piston of servo motor. The engine steam input of the turbine is controlled with the help of piston of servo motor. Now there may be steam uh, changing in steam input means steam pressure may be increased or decreased by opening or closing the valve. When we move the piston upward it closes the steam valve. And we, when we move the piston downward, it opens to the steam valve. Now, opening and closing of the steam valve change the steam pressure to the turbine input. Means, opening and closing of this piston, of this piston, change steam input to the turbine. And change of the steam input to the turbine make a change in output of generator. So in this way, and a device which is used to sense the change of soft rotor, the speed of soft of turbine, that is speed number. So this control is done on the basis of command given by the speed governor. This is the concept of speed governing, uh, governing system which is used in turbo or, or in steam power plants to control the steam input to the turbine for load frequency control of a similar area. Now we can write some points for this.